welcome back to my channel i hope you're well so i'm going to do like an old school youtube video i'm going to do a what's in my bag i picked this bag up for a bargain and a half and i haven't shut up talking about it so i thought i would do kind of a review but i thought i'd make it a little bit more interesting and show you what i've shoved in it as well so if you want to see where i bought it how much i paid for it and what it fits and all that good stuff just keep watching so I saw this being advertised on the River Island Instagram page and I've been having an eye out for a new crossbody bag for a little while now. I'm a bit of a brat when I'm going to put this down for a minute because it's a little bit heavy. I'm a bit of a brat when it comes to handbags. I like crossbody so that I don't have to carry them um, because generally if I tend to get like a bag that you have to carry in the crook of your arm I get lazy and just fill my pockets. Um, I've been using a couple of Rebecca Minkoff bags over the years and I love them but they're fairly loved now and I wanted to replace them. I was using a Zara backpack which I filled with so much shit and I did get fairly good use out of it. I think it was only like 25 quid but it had, like the handles had started to fray so I had to throw that in the bin. So I wanted something good quality but that wasn't going to break the bank either because I didn't have a lot to spend. So this came up um, it was 75 euro to buy. It is leather and it has like a suede front and it, so it is all leather um, and I really like the handle as well. It kind of reminded me of like Fendi vibes but it was 75 euro so I was kind of, I saved the link and I kept looking at it and going, going well I spent 75 euro and then I remembered it was, um, if you buy from the River Island website you can buy from Ireland in pounds and that makes the conversion a little bit better. So it was 55 pounds which would have been kind of 69 70 euro so no it probably would have been no it would have been about 62 63 euro so anyway i'm rambling now long story short i looked at it again one day and it was on sale on the website for 25 pounds so that's 25 pounds for a leather rag which i thought that's a steal let's be real so if i was willing to spend 75 euro on it i think i was willing to spend 25 pounds which worked out with shipping 31 euro so I thought that was pretty a pretty good deal anyway it looks like this it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be but that's okay as I said I'm going to kind of use this as an everyday bag the only thing I will say about it is that the strap isn't as long as I thought it would be either so if you're going to wear this over like a heavy jumper or a jacket it does come up kind of short which is a bit annoying it's from a security point of view, I suppose it's good, but it does kind of like, I have big boobs as well. So it comes up like it sits on my tummy. So that can be a bit annoying if you're wearing something that's a little bit more chunky. I would probably wear this now if I was wearing a heavier jacket, but as it gets colder, wear it under the jacket and wear the jacket over it. But I do love the strap. Um, I think it's really well made, especially for River Island. And what I like about it too is that there's no branding on it. It's only branded inside and I can completely live with that. There's just like a little River Island sign that you can't see, but a little like leather River Island sign inside it. So it has a flap opening, has a magnetic clasp on it. You open it up and it's only really one compartment, but then it has, oh there is the River Island sign there. There is a zip closure and then there's two little compartments, like just little um, material compartments that you can kind of shove some bits and bobs in. I will take pictures of this close up so I'll link the blog post down below if you want to check them out. It is pretty darn full. I don't travel light because I overthink and I think oh I might need this or I might need that. So there is a fair few bits in it. So I thought I would show you as well as telling you this was a bargain and I'm delighted I picked it up. I'll also show you what I have shoved in it as well. I used to love watching these videos back in the day so I thought I would do another I say back in the day I think I did one of these last year but anyway shut up Janet let's dive in okay first up would be generally my phone but my phone is out because it's always beside me at uh, every opportunity I am addicted to my phone so my phone would be in there and then because I have a pretty shit iPhone 6s I have to bring a portable charger everywhere I go. I have about five of these that I kind of plug in every so often and there is always one in my handbag. So I have one of these and usually a cable. So power bank, deodorant, because as I said, I'm an overthinker and I'm a paranoid person. And I think if I'm left stranded, at least I have deodorant to freshen up. So deodorant, my card wallet, 
Um, I'm not great with a purse. I don't really like carrying cash. So this was kind of an investment piece years and years ago, but I still have that and it's still going strong. It's a little caviar leather Chanel card wallet. Is that what you call it? Card holder, card holder. Um, I bought this with like a Christmas bonus that I got in work one year um, in an old job. So uh, yeah, this has all my cards in it. The important stuff, my debit card, my leap card, my Zaytun discount card so I can get a discount on kebabs, boots card, all that good stuff. Nothing too exciting. So that's in it too. What else? Oh, these come as like a duo. So I'll take the two of these out. So these are um, fancy touch up tools from Clarence. Actually, I have three Clarence things in here because I'm a bit extra. So I have uh, the Everlasting Compact. So this is a long wear comfort foundation. So I use this for touching up. I have quite oily skin, so I definitely need touching up if I'm out for long periods of time. I really like this because it slides. So I have this, and then I have the little brush that goes with it because I don't really like using the sponge. This is a little kabuki brush. Again, from Clarence, because I'm extra. And then this is the Palette Contour Visage. So this is their, um, this is this is a matte highlight, which I don't really understand, but I do use the bronzer and the blush. So I have this thrown in as well. It's a bit ridiculous, I know. What else? Oh, just in case I have another bronzer. This is a little Tarte bronzer. You never know when you need two bronzers. I have a concealer to touch up. This is Boing from Benefit. So just in case I need to touch up any zits or anything, I have that. I have my keys. A little hairbrush, because my hair gets quite knotty. So I have one of these cool little brushes from Pennies. A hand sanitizer, because as I said, I overthink. This is the handmade from Soap and Glory and it smells bloody delicious. So I love that. And then because this is like antibacterial and it dries your hands out, I have a hand cream as well. This is from Crablin, Cra Crablin? Crabtree and Evelyn and it's their pear and pink magnolia. This is uh, um, part of their new collection and it smells really, really good. So they come as a pear. I have some Nurofen because I have carpal tunnel and sometimes my hand hurts. Bobbin. A Catrice lip foundation lip liner. This is just kind of a good neutral lip liner if I fancy kind of doing my lips again if I'm out and about. And then this again is another kind of neutral good uh, lip gloss. This is the Plump Your Plucker. Plucker? <laughs> Plump Your Pucker lip gloss in... What was it in? Dramatise from the Balm. It's just a good neutral shade. These go quite well together. So I always have something like this in my bag because I get really dry lips after eating, but it's good to kind of have something that will help the dryness but add a little bit of colour as well. So there and there. I have a Real Techniques base shadow brush because you never know when you need an eyeshadow brush. I could always use like the um, bronzer as like a crease colour or whatever if I want to jazz up my makeup a little bit. Yeah, what else have we got in here? I have a Rollerball Gucci Guilty. I have another blending brush. This is a Sigma E25. Just as I was saying, I could use them as lip balm. I actually have the fanciest lip balm in the land. John bought me this a couple of years ago for Christmas. Yes, a couple of years ago. This is from Tom Ford. Look at the size of it. It's absolutely teeny tiny and it costs a ridiculous amount of money. But this is their lip balm. It's in the shade... I can't pronounce it. Oh one, it's in the shade oh one. It's nearly gone to be fair, but it's very fancy, so I like to carry it. <laughs> I have a teeny tiny eight hour cream from Elizabeth Arden because you never know when something gets dry and you might need eight hour cream. Then this is the brush that goes with the Clarins contour kit, and that lives in there as well. Cause you never know when you might need it. Anything else? Some change and. That is pretty much it. It's empty. It fits a fair amount in it, doesn't it? It's a fairly hefty bag because obviously, yeah, it's real leather. So it does kind of weigh a good chunk, especially with the thick strap on it as well. But it does hold a lot. And because you're wearing a crossbody, which is kind of generally what I do, you, like, you can even out the weight a good bit. So it does hold a lot. And for me, this is like a good size for everyday bag because although I pack it full of shit, I can do so much worse. 
Yeah, so that is my little bargain find from River Island. I just wanted to share it because if you're in the market for a new crossbody, this could be of interest to you. As I said, I'll leave the blog post linked below so you can kind of see pictures and all that good stuff. And I'll leave, obviously, a link for the bag too. So uh, we'll leave it there. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I shall talk to you in my next video. Take care. Bye.